Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Today we're going to look at some uh, uh, HOTAS brackets for holding your HOTAS throttle and joystick, which I decided to make. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, and I've been using them for two months, maybe more. Uh, before then, I was just putting them on the desk, and it was stretching forward, and it was just giving you like shoulder ache, and it was just wasn't comfortable. And, uh, and then also when once I got the pedals, I was sat further back by, I don't know, another good foot further back from where I would normally sit. So it was even more of a stretch. It wasn't going to work out. Uh, so I decided to make some. Now, there's quite a few online where you can just buy them. And I contemplated to buy them. But at this price, I was like, mm, I, I don't even think they're worth they're probably worth a hundred pound the value to me uh, so I decided to make me own uh, so this is what I based it off this thing so I priced the brackets up priced the extrusions up uh, the metal I probably would already have uh, and I can cut all the rest out uh, so I had quite a lot of uh, ha like hardware left over from when I put a printer together which is behind me you can see that one just there that's the in at the eight but i bought all the extrusions uh and put all the uh, electronics back onto it so i had like loads of bolts and clamps and things left over so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump over to uh the website and go through some of the prices uh how much going to cost me uh to to do these yeah this is only the price for the throttle and the the joystick mount which is these two things here yeah uh so you might might be something you want to do so we're back in a second right guys so i forgot to mention so i've had to just go and find it that's an image i found on the internet and that's what i based myself off there's no no uh dimensions or anything i just uh that's all i had to work off and you can see there's the differences isn't uh, and the ones i've got very similar but different uh so that's all i've done there's loads and loads how i got some of the uh to work out is i made some got some cardboard uh, and this is for this top bit you can see i've uh cut this to the right to the right size yeah 20 mil be 80 mil lid up the top i just got like a pointer something pointy and just found the the holes punched them through transferred it to that and then I marked that onto the uh, the steel to cut the steel so I could pop send a pop and the, and the metal and then drill it out uh, so that's how I've done that and for the for this part as you can see here it actually comes along and then goes around yeah I got that nice and smooth because I used it on a uh, not that it makes a difference it just looks nicer but if if you haven't got I I've got a turntable, so I actually bolted the center. If you notice, that's the cardboard I used to get the template. There's a tiny little hole in the middle. So I laid that over the aluminium, drew around it, put a put a mark on the center, drilled through the aluminium plate, so I had a center hole in the center, and then I bolted around uh, like a plug on the bottom. Just bolted it through. Uh, so I could put the plug into the turntable because my jaws aren't big enough for that. Uh, and then this whole piece turned from that centre point. That means I can cut that out. Uh, and then I just bandsawed that bit. Bandsawed that, bandsawed that. Uh, and then stuck it on the uh, sand I used to get this, this all smoothish. You can see I haven't done it properly because there's a little mark there. If I zoom in, there's a couple of little marks I've missed because I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure whether I was going to paint it, anodize it, what, I don't really know, but I'm happy with it as it is. In the end, I just sanded it down with a sand and block, and then I just shot a bit of lacquer over it, just to keep it silver, because it's all silver. Uh, although, any colour would make... I didn't want to put paint on it, because paint, not, it'll stick and scratch, and it just wouldn't really look nice, uh, properly, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would uh, show you that bit. So, uh, have a look. Yeah, can't really see it there, but you can see on the bottom there, if I zoom in, 
there's a black cover. So I printed out, uh, designed and printed out some of these covers. 80mm by 20mm. I'll just pop one. It's got a flat, a flat end on. Uh, although you could even put holes in if you wanted to and just bolt it on. Uh, so I designed them. So if anyone's interested, I'll leave. Uh, I won't bother, but if you want them, I can put them on with Thingiverse if I have to. Uh, but yeah, there's four of those. And there's like one there, and one on the other side, one on there, and one on the throttle side as well. So yeah, it's worked out really good. So what I'm going to do now is get the camera set up, and I'm going to have a little look. I'll put it on the floor, on the carpet, and have a little look at it. See what they look like, and then uh, I'll maybe give you some dimensions as well. So back shortly. So, got the camera out. I'm just going to pan around so you can have a little look at this thing. Uh, obviously, that's the throttle one. I'll just bend down a little bit so I get a bit closer. Hopefully, it's focused. And it won't be too steady because I'm just holding it by hand. So, as you can see, uh, that's one piece. It's 400 mil, uh, that's 200 mil. Yeah, so it's cut in half. This piece is a bit longer, you can see it underneath. And I've just cable tied it on, and it's, it's it ain't going nowhere. It's this thing is as strong as you want. Uh, it's just like say a cable tie there, a cable tie at the other end. If you need to take it off, it's easy. Other than that, I'm making another bracket, and I didn't really want to do that. Uh, and as you can see, if I just get round, hopefully you can see the clamps are just underneath the table there. It's a little bit close. I too much focused. Yeah, and a plastic top. And I'll go. I'll go through some of the other hardware in it shortly. Okay, there's the joystick. Just need to stand up again. Now, this one is a full length, 400 mil. So what I've done is initially, originally, uh, it, this was about that long. But you can see I've got an extension on. I'll talk about that in a minute, but originally I just had it lower, but then when I bought the extension, because I want to fly helicopters and it's just, you need, you need that. I mean, look how, look how much control you've got there, just with your fingers. I'll talk about that in a minute, but anyhow, because I put that on, I had to drop it down, uh, so I bought a, another length. So initially I got three of them, but it depends whether you're getting, doing this upgrade as well. So you can see I've got the brackets, and I'll show you them shortly, and leave the links. There's the Admelian plate, which goes all the way around. And if I can just go underneath, you might have to see I've just bolted it on like that. Now, just for instance, say I needed to go closer. I could go closer by about another inch. Yeah, 25mm, maybe 30mm that. But I can't, because... I haven't countersunk uh, sunk these, which is not a problem. If I wanted to, I'd just take them out and countersink them. But it works for me. But if you did do that, you can go closer if you need. Uh, and I've got the uh, plastic 3D printed ends on there and, and on there, you can see. Which just finishes it off, makes it nice. There's the clamp at the back. If I can get in, it might not focus very good. Yeah, uh, stand up again. And if I push the, this back, you can see that's the plate. Yeah, just mild steel, mild steel. Uh, it's black because I uh, used gunmetal black to get it that color. It's a lovely color, it's like uh, perfect. Uh, but you could paint it or do, do what you want really. I just have that there because just hides a little bit yeah and it works absolutely great I'm really pleased with it I mean I'm curious whether I, if I bought a longer extension and I'll put it up on the, on the video shortly where I bought that uh, then I decided I need to do the mouse extension I think I talked about it but there's the mouse extension exactly the same only truth is I didn't have any of the same bolts so I just used what I had I found four of these bolts here they're going about 25mm tapped into the aluminium uh, and uh, this is a, a metal aluminium mouse pad I bought 
uh, off Amazon and it was about five quid something like that uh, and as you can see I put double sided tape sticky tape on the underside and then I've just put one uh, pop rivet in and it's like that's like it's like solid what you need underneath it's exactly the same this was off cut actually this was the off cut off off that part because I had that left so that was like that so because it was about this long the off cut I, <laughs> I did want to buy another one so just give us a second. I didn't want to buy a second, a third one, a third one of these. So I just used the off cut, cut this off a little bit. There's the brackets, there's that. Uh, and that's the only bit hanging over. Uh, and I'll take that off and show you actually. Just pop it off like that, put it on the floor. Now the only thing I haven't done so far, I haven't, I haven't made some of these, uh, in fact. I'll get them here now and show you. Uh, I can't find them. In the bottom there. So that was the original ones. Uh, but because I only had this length and I only had that, if it was a bit longer it would be, it'd be a bit easier. So I had to bolt this on the bottom and then I just made another shorter version. It doesn't even need that, you could just put a washer on, put anything you want. I just printed them out and popped them on. They had a better fit. Uh, you can make them longer, do what you need. But it, it wouldn't work because I couldn't, I couldn't get low enough. So I had to make a thinner one so it would give me the right distance when that, when that locked up like that. Yeah. Uh, and there it is there really, it's just a nice little thing. I put some little paper t uh, stickers on because I used rubber initially I put some like rubber across here because of the force of this it was actually sticking that good on the other side on here it was pulling the pulling the veneer off that's how like strong the sticky was you see it stood there and there so I, I, you don't need that so I just put some paper on so it wouldn't stick yeah so what I'm going to do guys uh, I'll pop back over to the main computer and I'll show you some of the hardware uh, and just have a talk about that so back shall we okay so I'll just bring up the website and I'll go through some of the prices uh, and the list of what I bought okay so the plate let me have a look I'll bring up that picture as well let me just move this over a second don't need to see all that detail so okay so first thing I bought is uh, you want some plate or some it doesn't have to be metal it could be uh, well this is aluminium but you could use mild steel anything you want really uh, this is what I didn't have in stock so I had to buy some so this is the plate I bought six mil thick which is this bit here I haven't got a better picture, but I'll, I'll zoom in later and have a little look. But this plate here, which is cut out, uh, and I've cut round the circle as well. So this is a 6 mil plate. It was a fiver. Uh, and there's a size there, A5. It comes in all different uh, sizes, but yeah. It's, that's, it's really soft stuff. Uh, just use anything you've got really. I thought I had some uh, in the workshop, I didn't have any, so I'd get some. Th I didn't want to use three, four mil, it's just not really thick enough to hold the weight of the, the joystick. It's quite a lot of weight still in this area. Yeah, so that's number one. So get some of that. Bear in mind, these mounts cost a couple of hundred pounds, 180 pounds for two of them, which is ridiculous. Uh, so that's why I, I decided to make some, and I think, I don't know, 60 quid or something, whatever it costs. Uh, so I I needed some both. I wasn't sure which ones to use, and I knew I just, I didn't want to mess about, so I just bought a packet, and they always come in, I just put them in my bolt box. So these ones were stainless as it happens, doesn't make any difference with my steel or what. Pack of 58 quid, I only used, I don't know, 8, 12, I used 12 uh are the short ones which are where's the size i 
I think about five mil. I can't see it. Uh, I can't see where the size is. Uh, eight mil in length overall, so about five mil on the threads. Uh, quite short, just enough to go in that groove so it doesn't bottom out. Now, uh, the the clamps on the back, I've used, there's four holes on the clamps at the back. So I used four for that, four for that side. And I, what else did I use it for? I think that was it really. So there's them, so you want some of them. Uh, now the extrusion, <clears throat> I went for the 400 millimeters. It's, it's 80 mil by 400 mil. Let me just measure it. It's just next to me. Yes, 80 mil by 20 mil, is it? 80 mil by 20 thick. So it's uh, 80, 20, 400. It comes in a couple of different sizes, three or four. So I got the four and I cut it straight in half. So these two bits here is one piece and I've just cut it down the middle and then made them two bits. You might want to make one longer than the other, I don't know. It's worked out okay for me. Uh, 200, so they're 200 mil lengths. And then I bought another one, so I bought two of these, so 24 pound. Uh, 26 quid uh, for this part. So this part's quite short, but the other one older than the throttle is, uh, I think it is, I'll measure it now. I, d I haven't, I didn't do any drawings, or I just done it as I made it, but it's like 270, 280 millimeters. So 280 mil, and I use the rest for this short bit here. Yeah, so that's how I've done it. Uh, that's that. And then we've got the bracket, the clamps, which is on the back. Let me just do that. Pop that up. Because it keeps disappearing, that's all. There you go, that's good enough. Uh, it's just some headphones I'm buying from my son. You don't need to see that. I'll get that off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, two clamps you need and they need to be these type the ones where it it, it goes like that because there's different ones like ones for bench where you're clamping things down to a bench uh and that won't work so make sure you get the ones which push in and out that way yeah these are say they're rated to 500 pounds and yeah they're really strong so I, there's this this here this bit is cast iron uh, and the rest looks like it's stainless and the bolts you can adjust uh, it's st you can adjust it to about 30 millimeters out but you can put your own bolts in whatever you need uh, so yeah it's four holes i use the them uh, sharp bolts for them so in a couple of those what else then uh some more m5 bolts i got some longer ones now the longer ones are these here if you look at the picture i only use two of them <laughs> But I, I bought a pack of 20, is it, uh, for a fiver, but I could probably have some downstairs. I just couldn't be bothered to go and look and search for, normally I've got bigger bolts, M13s and stuff like that, M12s and stuff. But uh, I didn't have anything that small, so, and they come in different sizes, quantities. These ones, I think they're stainless, but it doesn't really make any difference. And the last one's going to be some of the T-nuts. These are the bits that go in between. So like underneath here, that's what they're bolting down to. So I can slide this plate back and forward uh, from here right out to about there. Um, and I've got set up to where I'll, I think it works okay for me. Uh, now the the ones, I'll show you the other picture later on. I copied these off some picture I found off the internet. And I'll show you that picture in, in shortly. And... Uh, it didn't work out exactly the way they're doing it. These were using like 90 degree brackets here, which you slide in like base slots like this. But they're like a 90 degree, so they go up and then along the two holes. And so you bolt this plate to this plate, and then you can slide it fully up them rails. So if you want that option, you don't know the way I've done it. I've bolted all the way through. So from here, there's bolts runs all the way through, about 50 millimeters in depth, all tapped out. So there's four of them. 
because I wanted a really strong bracket. I didn't want it to be like flexing and, and then snap. And I don't know how good the other ones are. I actually couldn't find any, otherwise I would probably done that option. Um, so I just decided to draw and tap it. And you can see these bolts are the same. They go all the way through to about there. Yeah. And these bolts I used anything which I had. I already had these. These were actually off a of bed. Uh, my son's bed, we were getting him a new bed. So I, I kept all the hardware, all the bolts and things. And these are, are hex keys. Uh, so I just tapped all these out and bolted them. Uh, top part is a two pieces of mild steel plate. I wanted aluminium, but it didn't have any. I didn't want to buy a full sheet just for that. So I found some uh, mild steel 3mm, I think it is, thick. Uh, and I just cut it on the bandsaw and uh, drilled and drilled it drilled it out. Uh, and the black is actually uh, flapped it up with a flapper, so it was all nice and clean steel. Uh, I cleaned it with uh, alcohol, and then I just used gun black, uh, gun metal black to, to turn it that colour, so it's like, it's a really nice finish actually, it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to explain it, but it's just super smooth, and it's dead jet black, and it's not paint, uh, I didn't want to paint it, uh, so yeah, so that's it really, uh, that's it, all the bits to buy, what I'm going to do now is, I'll use you the camera, uh, instead of this webcam, and I'll uh, show you it working. I'll set it up in the seat. It's it sets up really easy. Uh, I might even make another one for the mouse because obviously the, I've got to stretch across to get the mouse. Uh, I use it for DCS mainly and uh, Elite Dangerous, but uh, DCS and flying helicopter. And I need to get to the mouse sometimes because all the buttons are clickable and you can't map every single button in the cockpit. So for the MFDs and stuff, and I need to lean over and click on some buttons. Yeah. Okay, so we at the website, eBay. This is bought the extension part for the joystick. Now, uh, there's the guy's link if you want to just copy that and paste that in. There's loads and loads of different types of extensions for uh, collectives and joysticks. He does. Now, the one I picked, or the one I decided to go for, was the shortest version, 7.5 centimeter. It isn't polished or painted black. It doesn't make any difference, but that's the one I got. And it was 27 pound, yeah. Uh, oh, give us a second. Okay, so what you get is you, which you can see here in the picture, but it comes with a a cable. It's like a din. Hopefully that that comes through. Yeah, and at that end. Sad to say, it's just pins. The opposite. Now this is a spare one. The fr uh, when I got it, this one for a few, I don't know, fifteen minutes or something, and then it started to be intermittent. So I put it down to like a broken wire or something like. So he's making these up himself. Now I did do a continuity test on all the cable, like from one to the other, and all the pins. Okay. So I, I don't know what it was. Anyway, sent me a new one ever since. So I'm putting it down to maybe inside the tube. It's actually a bit longer. So inside the tube, it's actually kinked a bit like that. And I was just wondering whether it's pulled over from one side. Anyhow, I didn't need to worry about it because he sent me a new one. Uh, and it's been okay ever since. So it comes in different ones, like I say. It gets more expensive as you are going up. Biggest one it looks like it does is 40 centimeters, and that's 61 pound. Uh, be very interesting to try that. Uh, although if I was going to go down that road now, knowing how good this works and how much better it's made, 
for helicopters for fixed wing i mean i don't use it over fixed wing so i've got an a10 and an f18 and a harrier and a few other things and it works just just fine uh, you get used to it i can feel where the center is so if i need generally i'm just looking at what the aircraft's doing so i don't need to look at where it's at the only trouble is if you leave go if you, if you took the springs out altogether, you had zero springs and you let go of the stick for whatever reason it is going to fall yeah which uh the springs i've got and it actually holds it in position ever so slightly okay uh and it looks like it does these ones as well which like the ghost neck ones i mean these are going to cost uh can't see it there, it's the only one I can see in black. Cross, yeah. 130. Free postage. This is in the UK. Uh, but that would be interesting. What, because what I'd do is where my chair is. If I can click on that. Stay. Where my chair is, obviously the, the one I've got goes straight down. The chair hits it, so that means I could go closer to the the desktop or my me, me, uh, me keyboard, and that means closer to the screen a little bit, which is a bit better. Um, so this might actually be a good thing, but I don't think I would actually pay that much for 130. Uh, to make that, obviously, you have to bend this and still the same things on the end. They look like the welded. There's another picture there. A chrome tube so they have to bend all that and get that working and it looks like the cables coming out there and there it is again so you got it looks like aluminium tops which screw on and he's welded he's bent that and then welded that and there's the cables there there's a closer image and it's replicated off for like something out of a reel that looks like a gazelle or something but i'm really happy with what i've got there so i don't think i will be changing it but yeah it gives you the options guys and there's loads and loads on the internet i mean these ones i looked at but these ones are uh 3d printed and i wasn't sure same deal it's got the wires there well i think i think the 3d printed yes they are Yeah, hundred percent three print. Not nothing that not that there's anything wrong with that. It looks like a good job he's done. So maybe that's something you want to go down. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a few out there. What do this? But this is the one I chose to buy, uh, and I have no regrets, guys. A uh, really nice guy. Any problems, you can talk to him. He's he's really he's uh, he's there for you if you need it. So that's going to conclude this video, guys, for these uh, brackets. Hope you found it useful. Uh, I enjoyed making them, and uh, I just they're a necessity. Uh, I don't know whether see this the plug here, which goes on the top, the little cla uh, clamp clasp. I haven't made it one tight enough, so I'll probably design another one. I'm just too to do that, which actually pushes on, quite on. But the ones I made a bit loose. Uh, but there's various various ones of these you can buy off eBay and Amazon. Uh, it's just a uh, metallic. It's aluminium mouse mat. It's got two different surfaces on. And like I say, I just popped it on, uh, and there's some glue. I used a like, double-sided tape just to initially try it before I popped it and it worked for about a day and then because of the weight of the mouse it slowly started to come off so I put one pop in that's solid yeah uh, and it's, it makes it look like a neat job I think anyway yeah hey okay, guys so if you like this give us a thumbs up drop us a like comments leave uh, any questions I'll try to answer them uh, and I'll catch you in there contact